Um, this position is informed by the clear demonstration of intolerance, bigotry, hate, and authoritarianism that the bill provides. And the point, second point is that these provisions that criminalize various aspects of LGBT rights and activities are clearly in violation of our Constitution, especially those provisions of the Constitution that guarantee our fundamental human rights. And therefore, we need to really speak out very strongly against it because I don't dispute the fact that the overwhelming majority of Ghanaians do not like LGBTQ. But please, that is not the issue. It has nothing to do with whether we like LGBTQ people or we don't like them. That is our personal opinion. That may be our religious viewpoint. That may be our traditional cultural viewpoint. Nobody can quarrel with it. But our position is that you don't take your personal religious views and use it to impose law on all Ghanaians. Because that provision of the Constitution, which guarantees the freedom and right of every Ghanaian to any religion of his choice, also guarantees the rights of Ghanaians not to have any religion. So you can't use religious dogma or re religious values or customary values to simply impose a, a, a law on Ghana. And that is so because if you go to Article 26 2 of our Constitution, it says all customary practices which dehumanize or are injurious to the physical and mental well-being of a person are prohibited. This is a very direct order from our Constitution. It prohibits anything that is injurious to the physical or mental well-being of a person. So you can't use African cultural values under this provision to say that because this is our value as Africans, you are going to make life a living hell for LGBTQ people by criminalizing them. Again, we all know that one of the great achievements that the people of Ghana have uh, made is to entrench the right to freedom of expression very powerfully in our society and culture today. And like in the past, where there was only one government radio that was saying only the things that government wanted to hear. Today, anybody can set up a radio station and people are free to express their views either for or against government or any other matter. Now, this bill, if it becomes law, this discussion I'm having with you now, mm -hmm. both you and me will, we will be arrested and charged with a criminal offense under the uh, bill and put to prison for a term of not less than five years or more than 10 years. This is what is in the bill. Now, the question is, what is the harm, the harm, the material harm that LGBTQ people do to Ghanaian society? What is the harm that they are doing to Ghanaian society? 
which is more serious than the harm that men commit when they make young women and teenagers pregnant and leave them leave them and the child that is born to uh, fare far for themselves between two lgbtq people who are adults they are adults and have agreed to have this relationship what is the business of society in this matter we should focus on more important things in our, our country no, yeah, but anything that borders on procreation uh, it's a serious matter well, how does it border on procreation how does it but, uh, how does it i'm asking how does it border on procreation are how, you how, saying that how, mm -hmm. everybody if you are not if you don't marry and uh, what give uh, give birth to a child you should be made a, a criminal because you are not procreating is that what you are saying I'm asking you a very direct question. Are you saying that we should, because procreation is so important, we should pass a law that every male and female must procreate? Otherwise, it's an offense. Right. So your your point is they should be allowed. But um, I'm reading some comments on uh, Facebook and some referring to you as uh, yes. Listen to the gay man talking. What is your your personal point on this? What do you mean by my personal point? I um, are you for? <laughs> I'm saying that gay rights, okay. gay people and their rights should be should not be criminalized. And I'm saying further, this has nothing to do with whether I like gay people or I don't like gay people. It has okay. nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with our constitution. That is the point that people might uh, what, understand. It has nothing to do with my religious belief. All right. Lawyer, currently, um, what does the law say about uh, gays and lesbians? Is it something that is permissible under the current laws? It is totally impermissible. And you know why it is impermissible? Impermissible. Hmm. It is impermissible because this bill hmm, this is tries to suggest that by being gay a person is inhuman that it is in, in, inhuman to be gay and the constitution prohibits any activity that dehumanizes any person i mean i mean before the bill is even laid uh, for it to be passed what does the laws of our land say currently the laws of our land in my view are the provisions of the constitution they are the primary law and any other legislation must conform with the provisions of the constitution or otherwise it is unconstitutional so my point here is the following even if the law is saying that a natural carnal knowledge mm -hmm. is prohibited. Yeah. Question is, we are saying unnatural. Mm -hmm. So what is unnatural about gay relationships? It is an activity within the sphere of nature. It may not be socially, uh, how do you call it, approved. Yes, but by what scientific means do you reach the conclusion that that relationship is unnatural? So I'm saying that those are matters that can be debated. So it is not obvious that even under the current law, you, including the constitution, you can successfully argue that gay activities are criminal. Because I, I know, I, 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 yes, I know, I know someone who is in, uh, who was imprisoned for yes. same practice. So currently, even our laws do frown on uh, gay no. rights. Currently, some judgments have assumed that gay rights are unlawful. It's, the simple question is that it's not been challenged in the in the Supreme Court, and maybe the the people who were arrested did not have good legal counsel. 
Oh, so uh, Ali so, Gabas, so, oh, who so, was sentenced. Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish. And so the judge, being driven by his own private religious ideas, then thinks that is criminal. But every judge who is exercising his functions under the Constitution must know that his private views must never interfere with his enforcement of the law. It is the provisions of the Constitution that should guide him, not his private views. So I may be may dislike gay, 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 gay people, but if I sit down as a judge and that matter comes up, my private view on the matter has nothing to do with what I should do as a judge. What I should do as a judge is to enforce the provisions of the Constitution.